We're moving on to number three. Number three. Number three on the Chris Sims Top 40 quarterback countdown is... Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. Yeah. Who was second last year. Second last year. Uh, and Russell Wilson, I mean... Uh, gosh, I mean, one man ban. I mean, you talk about a team or a guy that is responsible for more of the production on their football team than any other quarterback in the sport. I mean, that's where Russell Wilson's amazing. I mean, you know, whenever they need a big play, it's almost always predicated on Russell Wilson making it happen, whether it's scrambling, a designed run, big time passes. You know, he's just a special, special talent, right? I mean, gosh, he's got a kind of a unique way in which way he throws the football. Ball, uh, but Russell Wilson, you know, okay, maybe not as surgical as other quarterbacks as far as like the, what they do in their offense and everything like that. It's not always like, oh gosh, look at this. It's a 10 play drive and he's seven completions right. in a row. No, they don't play that style of football. It's, man, you know, Pete Carroll, hey, hey, hey. It, that Pete Carroll, <laughs> <laughs> Pete Carroll and like what they ask all the time. It's Russell He's going to heckle you until you, That's okay. <laughs> until you yell back at him. That's all good. <laughs> Typical mass hole right there. Uh, but, but either way, I think, yeah, you know, with what they do with Russell Wilson, okay, and the big-time plays, uh, yes, well, what I was getting to is the, the precision part of, like, his game, the yeah. surgical part. No, they right. don't, they're not that way. You know, again, we got to put yourselves into, like, what Russell Wilson's asked to do. You know, it's it's always like, oh, we're going to run the ball. He plays for a defensive head coach who doesn't want to open things up and sure. do things like that. He kind of wants to play the game close to the vest. Uh, and I'm not making an excuse for him or either way, but I think that's the reason sometimes there's some ugliness to their offense in general. But, man, clutch moments when there's nothing there to be delivered in the pass game, which is a lot up in Seattle, okay? Yeah. I mean, Daryl Bevel is not famous for his past game schematics. Neither is Brian Schottenheimer. Gave him a good run game. but Right, yet. right. Gave him a good running game. And exactly right. But, you know, in the past game, I'm not sitting here going, oh, gosh, wow, those are a lot of easy completions. No, a lot of it is, is Russell Wilson making unbelievable throws or extending plays and making unbelievable throws that way. And, and listen, if I had to talk about a negative with Russell Wilson, do I think – there's a few plays every game where I go, ooh, that guy like 15 yards over the middle. And, of course, maybe some of it is because of his size and him being a shorter. Sure. I go, ooh, he's open. Like, he should have hit him there. But at the same time, you know, you got to remember the culture in which the, he was brought up in, which was take care of the ball. we got a great defense. Don't We're going to run the safe. football. He plays it safe, really, through three quarters. He's really the kind of quarterback who doesn't really push the envelope until he has to. And then when he has to, we all go, man, look at this guy. You know, whether it's, you know, Super Bowl drives, game-winning drives, whatever it may be, I feel like, like okay, Russell Wilson the always guy. answers the bell when they need him to. He, uh, going into his eighth season, started all 112 games of his career, thrown it's right in the fire, and as, as mobile as he is and how he plays, he still has stayed healthy and played every single game. Last year was kind of interesting for him when you look at the numbers because he did have his lowest yard total since his second year in the league. Yeah. But a career high in touchdowns, career low in interceptions, his quarterback rating was a career high. So it was almost like his rushing yards were down. It was almost like his usage was down, but yeah. his efficiency was up. He I think did so. More, That's a good way to put it. He did more with less opportunities almost. Right. Well, here's another guy who, you know, up until last year has been behind one of the worst offensive lines in football the last sure. two or three years. It's been struggling. Bill, and he's been under duress. So I think last year, one, they wanted to get back to kind of their old school way of like, let's be maybe excessive with the run game, right? Um, two, I think early on in the year, they weren't sure how good the O-line was too. So they're, yeah, they're kind of trying to protect Russell Wilson here by going like, we can't ask him to drop back 35 and 40 right. times a game. He's going to get killed. You know, and they're improving that offensive line. It looks like everything is going in the right direction there. But, yeah, they, they played a game last year where, you know, you've heard me say it can be tough at times on a quarterback because it's run, it's run, it's run. And then it's okay, you know, you're in trouble, make a big pass. That's, you know, that's not always easy. Right. And, you know, to add to that too, you know, some good talent around them in the past game. But I don't think anybody's going against the Seattle Seahawks going, oh, my gosh, we have to double this guy right here or we can't win. Or they're tight end. Like, no, nobody knows they're tight end, okay? And we know Tyler Lockett. And we knew Doug Baldwin, who was really, really good for years and years. But right. even last year, he was injured. He wasn't himself. But it didn't matter. And it was just, oh, hey, Russell, 
make plays, 35 touchdowns, he'll seven interceptions, and he'll figure it out. Which is why they paid him. They paid him $140 million contract extension. He's it's a be special, the special talent. Through 2023, became the highest paid player for AAV, average annual value, with $35 million a year. And so he used some of that money to hire Josh Cashman. Do you know about Josh Cashman? I don't know. 23-year-old video maker. He makes stuff on, on Twitter and Instagram. Right. Uh, he is now part of Russell Wilson's company, uh, West to East Empire. It's a branding agency. Okay. And so he was making videos about the Seahawks, cool memes about the Seahawks. He's oh. 23. He's in college. Right. And now Russell Wilson has hired him to help make the memes for, for Russell Wilson. Wow. His, he, own, his own content he, agency. He hired a meme, hired a meme guy. A meme guy. Wow. He's got a meme guy now. That's pretty rare, but... I mean, Russell Wilson, you do... He is aware of his... He's very aware. He and is, I do, no doubt. How, how does that that play in locker rooms yeah. in the NFL? Maybe it's more acceptable for a quarterback. I don't, I don't know. No, I, I think Russell Wilson is... Yeah, it's a little all over the place in the NFL. I mean, hey, again, we're evaluating for what they do on the field. And I, I got to remind everybody that. But, yeah, mm -hmm. are there players and teammates of him that think he was just a, he's an absolute dork and a nerd and a square? <laughs> Without a doubt. Yeah. And I think there's also teammates that go, they think he's a total fake. No, I don't know that. All I can say is the guy's been stand-up, role model, pretty perfect. I don't have the personal interactions with him that way. Right. But, hey, I'm not going to lie. Does he come off a little cheesy to me at times? Certainly. You don't know if you're getting the real him. Yeah, right. right. You don't I know because he, he says that's, the right thing. He's always in franchise quarterback mode, yeah. always, no matter what. And he's very aware and conscious of that, like, which is really a lot of franchise quarterbacks. They're like that, For sure. but he seems to be a little more aware than the others. He just started a Snapchat, and he ends every interview with Go Hawks. Go Hawks, I don't, yeah. I don't like that. No, well, I'm not I hear a big you. fan of that. I hear you. I would, have I would have dropped him down the list just for that. Just for but that alone? Yeah. Probably. yeah. Still he, in the top five, but not three. Right. Well, I mean, hey, the one thing I'll look at Russell Wilson, the thing that always, like, you know, and again, yes, you look at the, the things we talk about here. Gosh, I mean, he's never at any point been in an offensive system that I even remotely go, oh, this is top five in the NFL, top ten in the NFL. Yeah. I mean, it's been as basic as it can get, and yet, you know, touchdowns, big plays, quarterback rating, all of those are or always towards the top. Yep. Always towards the top of the list. And, you know, winning football games, too. It's right up there. I mean, since Russell Wilson's been there in Seattle, they win football games. And I think it's only going to continue this year. And Because I, I, I do think Seattle, and the, first of all, he's in the prime of his career. Yeah. And I think Seattle has turned over their team to say, ooh, they can make a little mini run here and be certainly a playoff team sure. year after year after year again. So there is your list all the way up to number three. There are two quarterbacks left, Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. Yep. And so one of those two. Well, no, not <laughs> I'm ripping up the list. I messed up, everybody. It's all over. Patrick Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers, the final two remaining. I Like I said, I don't know where you, where you have them. Good. I'm two. glad you don't you know. Like, you like both of them? So I'll, I'll never tell. I'll listen to It's It's uh, my homie, my homie, my homie. Or is it, oh, Aaron Rodgers? Uh, you don't know. You don't it, know. You don't and know. you, and even if you have it on paper right now, knowing you, you might switch it. Like no, this one's not switched. I didn't oh. make any changes. I have, and you know, you heard me say this. I didn't make one change to my top ten. Now, the other ones, been set, yeah. my ten, I always felt like it was the easiest easiest part. I knew I was going to take some you criticism. You will always beat yourself up for Tyrod Taylor at 40 I will. and not 39. Yes. I should have had him at 30. <laughs> I probably should have had him at 37, really, really, realistically. You'll never forgive yourself. Okay, so uh, that was fun. Thanks thanks for doing that again. Hey, no, was, thank uh, you I for doing it. Yeah. You're the man. And go and go Michigan, go Blue. They're in the yep. College World Series. Got One it. win away. One win away. And Vanderbilt was really good this year. They got a really good pitcher going tonight. Tonight? Kumar Rock. So we're going to game three. So Sounds we'll good. Game three. All right. Peace out everybody hope you enjoyed please continue the comments hate whatever yeah good discussions i welcome it Get i know i'm up. i know i am not the god of quarterbacks okay <laughs> uh but i'm always into the discussion and hopefully yes. explaining myself so uh peace out you the man we'll talk soon you know where to find me if you want to watch youtube.com slash nbc sports Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.